Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, November 25th, 2020, and it's time for another bold and beautiful episode recap. I'm your host, Keisha Chantal, and on today's show, Thomas gets to first base with the Hope Mannequin. Finn shows us how to enter someone's home with decorum. It's open. And Liam absolutely loses his mind. And I love to see it. Oh, before I forget, if you're loving these recaps, please make sure to click the subscribe button down below and then hit your notification bell so that every time I drop a new episode, you'll be the first to know. All right, grab your flashlights, guys, because we're going to pop in to see Thomas first, and it is dark as hell in that apartment. Let's go. I hope you like scary stories. <laughs> As Thomas is inside his really dark apartment talking to what he thinks is real hope when in actuality it's the mannequin that's come to life inside of his feverish brain, Liam is outside the door. He's about to knock and suddenly he overhears Thomas saying, Hope, this will be a night we'll never forget. Conveniently, the door is slightly ajar. Liam lets himself in quite easily. And he pushes the door in and sees Thomas doing. He steals quietly back out and literally tries to grasp what he just saw. He's completely, completely flabbergasted. Thomas pulls away after this long, passionate kiss with the mannequin, and he realizes it's not really hope at all. Oh God, no, no. He notices that, I guess when he's talking to her, she's not talking back, and he starts to freak out. So he puts his shirt on, he's pacing the apartment like a caged animal, and he shouts at the mannequin. You came out. You kissed me. It's almost like he's saying the mannequin forced herself on him. And the mannequin has some words to say. Go after her. What's happening to me? I'll tell you what's happening to you, Thomas. It's, it's as simple as this. It's called stress. Stress can manifest itself in a number of ways, including overwork. Maybe if you weren't so pressed, you wouldn't be so stressed. Maybe if you weren't so stressed, you could stop obsessing and not talk to mannequins. Just saying. Think about it. Whew, Lord have mercy. That was very taxing. I have to... Mm, I had to take a sip of my wine because that was a very stressful um, visit over at Thomas's house. So let's, um, let's head on over to Liam and Hope's backyard shack where Finn is going to show us how to properly enter someone's home. It's open. Hey. So Finn gets right down to brass tacks. He says, listen, I have a few burning questions that only you can answer. I want to speak with you alone about Thomas. Uh, okay. And Hope seems to be a little taken aback by this. Finn goes on to say that I noticed that, you know, he's on your line. He's obviously very talented or else he wouldn't be working with you. And Hope says, yeah, you know, I just, I had to just make sure. And she trails off. And then Finn says, You keep sidestepping the question. I'm in a committed relationship with Steffi. I care about her. This is such an awkward conversation to have, right? Now, let's remember that Finn is very new to this whole situation. Why is he taking these extra steps? to seek out hope and get a handle on where Thomas is coming from. It's either A, Liam really got to him, or he just likes to be in other people's business and he's got the time. And either way, none of those scenarios are good. So I guess talking to Hope did not satisfy the doctor's curiosity. She actually says to him, hey, I'm not the one that you want answers from. Go on over and talk to Thomas. That's who you need to talk to. And of course, 
Finn actually takes her up on that. Instead of taking his ass home after a long day, he actually finds some spare time to head on over to Santa Monica where Thomas's apartment is. He knocks. Thomas, it's me, Finn. And he says the strangest thing. Hey, look, I, I know you're home. Can you open up? How do you know that he's there? Do you have x-ray eyes, Finn? Do you have x-ray eyes? Can you see through doors and see people on the other side? I'm beginning to wonder about you. Is it a bad time? Yeah, kinda is. You're goddamn right it's a bad time. Why are you even here? Answer me. Why are you here? I'm concerned about you. I'm looking at you right now. I think I got a reason to be. Now let's head on over to Steffi's two-room mansion in Malibu and guess who barges in and doesn't knock? Hey you. Did you forget something? Liam comes flying through the door, obviously bothered. Steffi wants to know what's happening. And this is what Liam says. Hope. She's like, you were clearly pissed off before you left. And now you come back here, clearly upset again. And I want to know why you're interrupting my night, which is what I would say. Finally, Liam starts to talk. He says, I went over to Thomas's apartment. The door was ajar, so I, I pushed it open, and it was dark in there. It was dark, so I, I, at first I couldn't be sure, but then... Is it just me? Or did it look like Liam threw up in his mouth a little when he said that? He had his paws around my wife, and she... <laughs> was kissing him. We all know that it's not true. It wasn't really hope, but the fact that Liam is coming undone. It just brings me so much joy. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Okay.